What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to you guys through a 10 minute yoga or stretching routine you can do on your rest days or even after a full body workout or anything like that. But guys, as always, if you are new in my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video for more fitness content just like this one. Now I am changing my upload schedule around. Monday, Wednesday and Friday will be videos just like this one and Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday will be short videos, 20 second workout videos and stuff like that and then Sunday of course will be my off day. This video has kind of been just scattered around everywhere and I didn't really have a schedule to go by but I reckon this is good right now. But anyways, that all out of the way, we're going to start so I'm going to put 10 minutes on the clock. And yeah, it's going to be a relaxing time, 10 minutes, it's not a workout so you have to push yourself so much. But yeah, we're going to start now and we're going to do full body, upper body and lower body. Now we're going to start in a tabletop position. So all fours and then around the back. So we're going to go into cat position. So just like this, arch in the back, and breathing out, rounding the back. Once again, breathing in, arch in the back, and breathing out. Just one more time. Alright, so now we're going to get cross our legs, sit down, and we're just going to raise forward. So we're going to stretch out the glutes a bit here, stretch out rid of the hamstrings and stuff like that. You should be able to feel it. Do just about 10 seconds and we'll stop, stop the legs. Right, stopping, stopping legs now. Then we're going to breathe in through, through your nose and out through your mouth or nose. Doesn't really matter, but make sure you're breathing through your nose, that's the most important. Yeah, so breathing out through your nose or mouth, breathe out to you. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Now, we're going to go into the famous downward dog, so stretching out the calves mostly. You can do like an alternate with the legs, just like this, just to really feel the stretch in each leg. Hold this for about 10 seconds. Doesn't matter if you guys are on the ground or not, but I'm not even that flexible to do that unless I rip my hands closer, of course, but yeah. Just breathe. Alright, so now we're going to move the hands close to the feet, so should get more of the hamstrings now. Should be able to work the going as far as you can, of course. Alright, so we're going to make our way up, breathing in, hands to the knees, and then down, back to the floor. Breathing out. Alright, so bringing it up now, breathing in, hands off your head, just like this, then down, back down again. Alright, so now we're going to stretch out the hip flexors a bit. So, we do one foot forward, no matter which foot, because we'll stop size anyway. Uh, my right foot forward here. So, toes off the ground, and now just moving forward, really stretching it, really feeling it in the hips here. And also the quad as well, you should feel it in the quad. Hold this for about 10 more seconds. Alright, so now we're going to come back and stretch out the hamstring. So, lean back instead of forward. Keep in the, keep, now take the toe off the ground, keep the heels on the ground. Sorry, I kind of mucked up my words there, but yeah. Alright, so you should feel it in the hamstring, you can touch the floor if you want a bit, uh, better stretch or a bigger stretch, I can say. I think. Alright, so now I'm going to stop legs, so I'm the leg in front, this is my left leg, so you should have the hips and the quads. It's probably one of the most underrated stretch, pretty simple stretch, but hip flexors are very important, especially on rest days and stuff like that. Hip flexors are very important too with leg day, even up body day with deadlifts and everything. Alright, so now move the foot forward if you need to. Stretch out the hamstring and the calves here. Hands on the floor if you can, it doesn't matter if you can't, everyone starts somewhere. Now 
Now we're going to get on our back. So, I'm going to show you the, show you the glutes a bit here as well. So, one foot, crossing the other foot. Grab the knee and bring it forward. You should feel it in the uh, glute here. That would flex both feet as well. Just to get the most out of this stretch. Two more breaths. Alright, switching legs now. So stretching out the other glute. Dropping everything. Now we're going to put one side of our body to our knees to one side, just like this. And then we're going to grab our opposite hand and reach to the other side. You should really feel in the obliques here and the abs and also the legs and glutes as well. Close your back. Three to four breaths. Three to four deep breaths, I should say. Remember, this is supposed to be relaxing, so let go. Switching sides now. Move on to a bit of more upper body kind of stretch off of this. Alright, so getting up now. Let me just do this fine really quick. We have four minutes left. So now we're going to do a bit of an upper body stretch. So we're going to stretch out the forearms here. So hands in front. Now fingers facing your knees, and you should really feel this in your wrists and your forearms. Now forearms are one of the underrated uh, upper body stretches, just because they can get really tight, and that could be where when you train your biceps and stuff like that, you can't get all the uh, contractions. For two more breaths. Breathing in. And out. One more breath. Alright, so now we're going to shift out the shoulders and the triceps. So, first, doing the triceps, this also hits the shoulders as well. So, hand behind your head. Pretty simple, pretty simple stretch here. Just pulling the elbow backwards, and you should really feel this here. Tricep. 10 seconds. Alright, other arm now. Sorry for the background noise as well, it's just my house is pretty close to the main road, so it's just the cars going past. Alright, now the shoulders, so we're gonna grab the arm and we're just gonna pull it over to the side, you should really feel this in the shoulder here. Stretching your shoulders is very important in my opinion. So bench press, push-ups and stuff like that, the shoulders are under pressure. I never used to take care of my shoulders, or something, something comes down. I never used to take care of my shoulders and they got really bad, they still are pretty bad. But they're, they're all right, I can exercise them. All right, so now we're gonna do a cobra or a child's pose. So we're gonna go with the cobra pose right now. You should really feel some abs in the chest. So we're going to alternate to child's to uh, cobra here. So now we're going to child's pose. Hold for about 5 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds. When you feel like it, come back to cobra pose. Do this about 3 times each side, or each, ex or each stretch I should say. Coming back. One more time.
Alright guys, so stopping in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, so for the last minute, we're just going to sit cross legged or on your back, really up to you. We're just going to meditate. So, focusing on the breath, breathing in, and out. Now, we're only going to do this for a minute, but if you do want to go for longer, of course, go for longer. So I'll do the outro after this. Always, always, I always love to do meditation after yoga. I think it's very good. Just to keep the body calm and stuff like that. About 10 seconds left. Alright, thumbs up. Alright guys, I'm not going to talk too much because if you are still meditating, you probably don't want to hear this, but I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Yeah, yes, I do recommend meditating for longer, but if you don't want to, you want to end right now, that's completely fine. Just be proud of yourself of doing this video with me because that is the main thing. Guys, I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.